erected. What we'll do then, we'll do exactly the same with the front one. Once we've got two, uh, both of our end walls up, we will then slide the long wall on. I'll take the tail rope edge, slide him to the rope edge provided on the roller tube. As Bruce holds it up, I'll just walk from away from him, sliding the wall section in. Not going too fast, otherwise I'll pull his fingers through. Once we've got that through there, it's a matter now of doing up the zippers, putting the poles in and fastening the annex down with pegs. It's a matter of lifting the zip right to the top, finding the other part of it, making sure they're right down, and then sliding your zipper down marginally. It's then a case of undo your pole, put him into the spigot hole provided, and just put him out onto the ground for there. We'll go through and we'll do exactly the same at the opposite end. Now that we've put the second corner pole in and, and zipped everything down, it's a matter now of just going along and putting the last two upright poles, one each side of both the doorways. In our application here, we have two doors in all of our Kakadu annexes, and it's a matter of putting the last one in to there. Once we've got our poles in, it's a matter of the pole ties that's provided, wrap around the pole, it just stops your walls, it stops your walls from moving anywhere. Of course there's poles in the corner, pole ties in the corner should I say, and also at the rear door exactly the same. Wrapping around so the Velcro wraps over itself and that just holds your wall to stop it from moving. Once we've done the pole ties up, it's a matter of undoing your zippers for your doorway. We'll go outside and we'll put the pegs into the, to the bottom of the annex. Matter of just pulling your zippers up to about 6 inches or 150 mil from the top, bring your, your doorway back in. What we do is we roll our door inwards. In case it rains, if you roll it the opposite way, you'll find it'll pool with water. You go to drop it as you're going out somewhere, you'll get soaked, plus the colour. It just looks a lot neater with the colour folded in than out when you're finished. Do up your clips on your the straps provided and that's your doorway. Just a matter of putting onto the press studs that have already been installed onto your caravan like so. Come up to your wheel arch, we'll go over that one. We'll go over that one there and I'll just pull it through. Come to the far side of your wheel arch, the clips of course as you see will line up for you. In this case here, we have a step. We've already cut for the step. Your press studs go in underneath the door like so. And it goes through to the end and I'll marry up with your wall section. With these, we have Velcro tail on your wall and Velcro on the windbreak. It just Velcros in the corner. Does exactly the same thing at this end here. And that just seals everything off, nice and snug and stops anything from coming in underneath. It's a matter of putting the pegs supplied into the eyelets in the bottom of the wall section. Before we do that, I'll get Bruce to come in now and we'll just fasten the stay puts through the eyelets of the roof as a waterproofing section on the end of our wall so if there's any winds or rain prevailing, it's all covered up and you have no hassles at all. Pulling your wall out, grab out your hammer, lightning, and driving them in to the ground, like so. We'll go to your major points. We'll then we'll go along the front and we'll also do the back wall exactly the same. Once we've got all the pegs into the bottom of the annex holding it down, it's now a matter of opening it up, ventilating the annex by opening up the windows and the other doorway. Start on this window here of course, undo the zippers on either side, size of the windows, it's best if you've got someone to help you. Once Bruce unzips that, it's a matter then of just pulling against each other and t curling it under. Doing exactly the same thing, it's a matter of making sure that when your window flap is rolled up that you don't click with water when it does rain. It's a matter of just winding them right up to the top and of course there's straps exactly the same as your doorway there to hold your window flap up. That's the big gauze windows for your ventilation and uh, that's the becoming of the Kakadu Annex with your big gauze windows, your doorways, <coughs> it's a matter of the same as here, your long wall, the long wall window will de be determined by the length of the awning of course, this is a uh, 14 and a half foot rollout so the window is quite large, the smaller the rollout awning, the smaller the window, the bigger the rollout awning, this window becomes a lot larger than what it is. Same thing, your press stud clips at the top 
and the doorway. Bruce will go in and undo the doorway exactly the same as I've done the front one, undoing the zippers up to the top and rolling it from inside the annex. That then opens your whole annex up. Now it's time to sit down and enjoy it, throw a fishing line out and have a nice cold beer.